So this is a very frequently asked question that what happens if I increase the load on the secondary, will it affect the current flowing into the primary? What is the connection between the primary current and the secondary load? Very frequently asked question. And in this video, we are going to have an answer for that using a very easy to understand circuit simulation. So here is what we are going to learn in today's video. So first of all, we'll create a circuit simulator, a very simple simulator, which everyone can understand. Then we will first understand what is the relationship between the primary and secondary voltage. Will the primary voltage change because we change the secondary load? We'll learn about that. Then we'll talk about the current that flows through primary and secondary when there is no load connected on the secondary. Again, we will understand this using the circuit simulator. And at the end, we will understand the primary and secondary current on load. So we'll connect a load to our transformer and then we will observe the primary and secondary current. We will also vary the load and we will study about what impact it will have on the primary side, right? We are going to do this using the circuit simulator in a very, very easiest way. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Now, if you want to skip to any particular part, I've given timestamp for that down in the description. You can go and check that out if you want to skip to any particular part. But I will recommend you to go through step by step only. Now, this is the video which is focusing on this particular content only. But if you are looking to have a course on complete electrical transformers, then you need to check out the course that I have on the electrical transformers. It is very, very easy to understand. A lot of people are getting help out of it. And if you are looking to clear your concepts, theoretical part about electrical transformer, then this course is the way to go. You will get all the content pre-recorded HD content so that you can learn at your own pace and at your own convenience, right? It is very, very easy to learn. You can ask your doubts, get it clarified and lot of other things. I'll put the link for that particular course down in the description. Definitely go and check it out. Now let us move towards the circuit simulation. So here is our circuit. The circuit simulator that I'm using right here is every circuit. So what we have done is we have connected uh, an AC source 50 Hertz with 200 volts as the voltage to the primary side of the transformer. Now this is a step up transformer. That's why you see here one is to two, right? And to measure the primary voltage, we have connected voltmeter in parallel. And to measure the current, we have connected an ammeter in series with the primary winding. Similarly, to the secondary side, to measure the current, an ammeter is there. And to measure the voltage, a voltmeter is there. Now, as a load, we have connected a 1 kilo ohm resistor here. So this is a purely resistive load, right? Now, the first thing what we are going to do is, firstly, we will understand the voltage relationship. So that's why uh, we will first observe the waveforms and the values of voltage of primary and secondary. Now, right now, the load that we have connected is 1 kilo ampere. 1 kilo ohm, sorry. So let me run this simulation right here. So the simulation has started. So what you have to focus is on this value. So the purple uh, dot indicates the primary voltage and the green dot indicates the secondary voltage. So you see the primary voltage is 141 volts and the secondary voltage is 282 volts. So of course, it's a step up transformer. And that is the reason why you will see the voltage is stepped up. Now, what we will do right now, the load is one kilo ohm. So we will double the load. We'll make it two kilo ohm and we will check whether that will impact our primary voltage or the secondary voltage. So I've made it two kilo ohms. Now I'm going to run the simulation. So again, what you have to focus is on the RMS value. You see there is no change in the voltage value. The voltage value are still the same that was previously there when the load was one kilo ohm so this proves that there is no impact on the voltage when we change the load on the secondary side of the transformer right why is that because of the transformation ratio now let me quickly show you what is transformation ratio so this is the transformation ratio e1 by e2 is equals to n1 by n2 and which we call it as a which is nothing but the transformation ratio now of course there is a logic behind this how this has arrived that you can learn in detail in the course that i have now if you further simplify it it will be e1 times n2 is equals to e2 time n1 now what is e1 e1 is the uh, voltage of the primary side n2 is the 
number of turns at the secondary e2 is the voltage at the secondary and n1 is the turns at the turns of the primary winding now definitely n2 and n1 will be constant you are not going to change it frequently right once the transformer is produced this n2 and n1 will be constant so when these two terms are constant the only thing that remains is e1 is equals to e2 that means the voltage is directly proportional primary voltage is directly proportional to the secondary voltage the only thing that can make changes in this primary or secondary voltage is the voltage itself right it will not have any impact because of the uh, you know load that we are connecting to the secondary side so if you want to change the voltage you have to make sure you are changing the primary voltage and then only the secondary voltage will change otherwise both the voltages will remain constant right understood so this is very important transformation ratio now let us get back to our simulation now we learned about the voltage part now what we are going to do first we will understand the current situation in both primary and secondary at open circuit so what i am going to do is i am going to delete this load and we will observe the uh, sorry waveform of primary and secondary currents here now the secondary of the transformer is almost open circuited there is no load on this uh, so only the voltmeter is there so now let me run the simulation so again you have to focus on the rms value because when we talk about ac circuit we always refer it by rms value and why is that if you are interested in learning about that then you can watch a dedicated video of mine wherein i have explained why we use rms value in ac circuits link is provided down in the description so again the purple dot indicates the primary current which is a very negligible current 77.8 milliampere and the secondary current is indicated by the green dot which is 0 ampere definitely when there is no load the current flowing through the secondary is always zero but if you look at the primary there is a small amount of current that is flowing in the primary now why is that now when we talk about the ideal transformer the ideal transformer the core of the ideal transformer will have no losses and definitely the current flowing in the ideal transformer in case of no load will also be zero but this is not an ideal transformer this is a practical transformer and core of the practical transformer will definitely have some losses hysteresis losses eddy current losses and the other losses and to serve that losses you see this small amount of current must flow in the transformer right uh, this is the magnetizing current what we can say uh, and, and that is the this small current 77.2 milliampere is the current that is flowing right now in the primary even if there is no load on the secondary right but if it would have been an let's say ideal core then definitely there wouldn't have been any current that is flowing in the primary side when the secondary is open circuited right clear understood the second scenario when there is no load the secondary current will be zero but there will be a small current that is flowing in the primary side to serve the losses clear so that is our second thing now the third thing that we are going to understand is uh, what happens when we change the load on the secondary on the primary side current so here i am going to connect one kilo amp uh, ohm load here and now let us observe the primary and secondary current again i will run the simulation so you see the primary current which was initially 72 milliampere now it has increased to 570 milliampere similarly when the secondary was 0 ampere now it has gone to 282 milliampere right definitely the secondary current increase and that also caused the primary current to increase now let us do one more thing uh, let me double the load now it is 1 kilo amp ohm so i'm gonna make it 2 kilo ohm now let us see you see the current has dropped because we increased the resistance the current has dropped so secondary side it is now 141 milliampere and because of that you see the primary current has also dropped 293 milliampere right so definitely when we are changing the load on the secondary side there is an impact on the primary side as well let me put it uh, maybe what we will do we'll reduce the load now 
to see what happens. So I'm going to make it 500 ohms now. Let's see now what happens. So here again the current has increased. Now secondary current is 563 milliampere and the primary current is 1.13 ampere. Right? Definitely the current has changed. So this proves that when we change the load on the secondary side, the current that is flowing in the primary side is also affected along with the current flowing in the secondary. Right? Understood? Now the question is, why is this happening? Well, the answer is the current ratio again. So current ratio is the reciprocal of voltage ratio. Let me show it to you, which is uh, N1 by N2 is equals to I2 by I1. Again, there is a logic behind that how we arrived it uh, at it. You can learn more about it using the course. So if you simplify this, then the N1 times I1 is equals to N2 times I2. Again, the number of turns will be similar, right? Uh, it is constant. It, it will not going to change. So what remains is I1 is equals to I2. That means the primary current is directly proportional to the secondary current. In case your secondary current changes, that is going to directly impact your primary current of the transformer, right? Why? Because I1 is directly proportional to I2. I1 is primary current. I2 is secondary current. Clear? Understood? So this is how it impacts your primary side. Definitely changing load will have an impact on the primary side of the transformer. Right? Clear? Now let me quickly summarize uh, this video here. Change in the secondary load causes no impact on the voltages of primary and secondary. So this was the first step wherein we changed the load, but there was no impact on the primary and secondary voltage. Both voltages were constant at different load. No current flows in secondary at no load. Definitely we saw that. Small amount of current flows in primary to serve the losses. But again, you have to remember this is the practical transformer. If you are talking about ideal transformer, which is an imaginary case, of course, then th if the load is not there, the primary and secondary, both the currents will be zero, right? And the third important observation is change in the secondary load causes change in the primary current of the transformer. Why that happens? Because of the current ratio that we just discussed. Clear? Understood? Now again, I'll request if you want to clarify all your concepts about the transformer, then the course that I have created on transformer is the way to go. Link is provided down in the description. Go and check it out. If you found this video helpful, then do click on the like button and do subscribe. Do share this with the people you think might be interested in knowing. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really appreciate your effort uh, in supporting the channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.